So I was looking at an Ohio State Quarter one time. Remember those state quarters back in the day? And the Ohio State Quarter on the back of it has Neil Armstrong in his space suit. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon, as you know, and he was from Cincinnati. He lived there most of his life. And I was thinking, you know, Ohio is this flat state in the middle of the country, and yet we have Neil Armstrong, and we also had the Wright brothers, you know, the first people to fly a plane. So what is it about uh, the spirit of Ohio <laughs> that makes us uh, so inventive and so ready to go and, and fly? And I wrote this poem, Ohio Dreams, about that. How does a place north of south, east of west, a symbol of middles, normalcy, become the birthplace of aviation? Imagine, two boys from Dayton, brothers after bike shop hours, tinkering with propellers, taking off into the weekend wind. An engineer, studious Cincinnati kid escaping the atmosphere, leaving his heavy boot prints on the moon. So down to earth, and yet we were the first to fly. Perhaps it is because, guided by the logic of red checkered tablecloths and analog clocks, we walk the cornfields, mineral canvases of clay and arrowheads and tribal spirits for our wandering footsteps and thoughts. It is because, laying out on silky summer nights, we play out our dreams, cricket serenaded in the infinite theater of constellations, wondering where we've come from and where we're going. And because in daylight, unafraid, we muck up riverbeds with water wheels, cultivate our crops ascending, set our curious minds to finding out. <laughs>